Hulu. Because it's an owl. It says, it's like Hulu, not the app. Is that an app? I'm old. Boop, boop. Am I in focus? Parchment paper, the instant surface. Maybe I should take some classes. You know, I can't quite put my finger on it. This joke is funny because this is a finger and I can't quite put it on. It's about sifting your perspective. The flowers in you. This week on My Drunk Kitchen, we are making donuts. Wee 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 wee. Nice, nice. Da 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 da. Yeah. Because this week is all about knowing that you do not have to give a shit about what other people think. All things considered, definitely your actions impact other people, but this is more about not being self-conscious and thinking other people are constantly thinking about you the way you, you're thinking about you all the time. For instance, it's like when your hair looks weird or you've got something on your face and you're like, oh my God, everybody's thinking about my weird hair or the thing on my face. Nine times out of 10, that's not true. But occasionally people are thinking about what you have on your face. Ha <laughs> ha. Anyway, let's begin. Today we are making super easy donuts. So let's hope that they're super easy. Ew, the first step is gross. Mm. Two tablespoons white vinegar, three eighths a cup of milk. Vinegar into the milk. Yikes, yikes, yikes. That is so weird. Ugh. Let's stand for a few minutes until thick. Ugh. <laughs> Next, in a medium bowl, cream together the sugar and the shortening until smooth. Wait a minute. Pet. Creaming together just means mixing the butter and the shortening. Wait, am I using shortening? Am I using butter? Who am I? Anyway. Two tablespoons shortening. Shortening. <laughs> Half cup white sugar. Now we take our very fancy blender thingy. Ah. Now I'm gonna cream it together. Until smooth. All right, it's pretty much just a bunch of chunks. So let's hope things change soon. You guys see that? See how that's definitely not smooth? What if I just touch it with my hands? Ooh! Uh-oh. Ew, 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 ew. Booty boop, booty boop. Here's my thing with cooking in general. I wish we all like had one definition of what the word smooth means. I mean, I think we do probably. Like this definitely doesn't evoke smooth to me. Next, beat in the egg and the vanilla until well blended. Well blended. How vague. Egg. Woo! The egg is also room temperature. That really actually does help. One teaspoon vanille. Well blended. Great, that looks regular. Guys, I have to say, this looks downright smooth. Sift together, oh no. Ah, sift, 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 sift. Mm. Uh oh. Sift together the flour, baking soda, and salt. Salt, here you go salt, welcome to your new home. Baking soda, eh. Now sift together. Switching bowls. Are you sifting? What's the difference between this and just dumping it in? I don't know, but it's hurting my neck. Sift, 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 doo-doo, doo-doo. Hey guys, what do you call it when um, something occurs that drastically alters your reality? A paradigm sift. <laughs> ah, done. Now, do you want us to mix it? Stir into the sugar mixture, alternating vinegar and milk. What? No, alternating with the vinegar and milk. Oh, like only do a little and then do that and do a little more of that and then that. Yikey, yikes, that's not at all what happened. Please work, thank you. Okay, yummy, yummy in your tummy. I'm glad you guys can't see what this looks like. Not great. Lightly flour. Now we put the dough onto this. So if you just Go under. I'd be happy. Uh, ah. Okay, that's not bad. I'm just gonna do this. <sighs> All right, next step. Wash your hands and pour yourself another drink. Oh, rest in peace, cucumber vodka. You've been light and refreshing. Mm. Anyway, moving right along, it's time to roll out these donuts to a third inch thickness, and then we shape them into donut shapes. Roll, oh God. Rolling. Oh, now it's actually working. Cut into donuts using a donut cutter and let stand for 10 minutes. I don't have a donut cutter, but I know what donuts look like. Little bowl, bigger bowl. Put them together, you get a donut. Ooh, uh-oh. As you can tell, that's the little bowl. This is the bigger bowl. It's a little oblong, but we don't judge. Round two, let's do. Mmm, betterish. Mmm. Wait, guys, since we're making donuts, we can also make donut holes, which I always found such an interesting choice of name. 
Because it's like, really, that's not the whole. That's like the sum. Whoa, the whole with a W means like the whole donut. Whoa, maybe it's a donut whole with a W because it's only made up of donut and has no empty space. And isn't that really the goal we're all setting for? To be donut whole? Let's talk about spiritual hunger. Cool story. Anyway, while you're letting your dough stand for 10 minutes, start heating up your oil for frying. Hello, deep fryer. Wait, or should I say deep fryer? F-R-I-A-R. To continue with our new spirituality theme. Now the recipe calls for one quart of oil, which is approximately half of this, but my personal deep fryer has a max capacity line. So what do we do? Do we obey the letter of the law or the spirit of the law? Not all laws are written for all things. Ah! While that heats up, let me do another hot topic, which is this. By the spirit of the law versus the letter of the law, I have just come to believe that, you know, You know, actually, I think this might be like a Sober Hannah Tuesday topic, to be totally H. So, oh, it clicked. Let's just keep making donuts. Ooh, let's see. We are taking donut number fun, okay? Putting it in the basket, and we're gonna fry it. Have fun in there. Wow, that's a donut. <coughs> How long does it take? Golden brown, turning over, got it. Uh. Let's use you. Yep, turning it over. Oh my God, you guys, this is starting to look like a motherfucking donut. Oh, getting paper towels. Cause usually when you fry things, paper towels are involved. Let me check. Oh my God, it says drain on paper towels. Went with my instincts. Okay, here's donut number one. Slabam. Ah, oh, yeah. Are you cooked? Ow, you're hot. Let's also make donut holes. Rolling, rolling, rolling. Good, the camera's rolling. Phew. <laughs> Oh, that would have been painful. Don't drop things in there. Dust with confectioner's sugar while they're still warm. I'll just do you real quick. NGL, these donuts are looking pretty good. Remove the last year donuts, add them to your little paper towel of delight, and be sure to add powdered sugar or confectioner's sugar, whatever you call it, right away while they're still warm. Wash your hands. Okay guys, here's your beautiful, beautiful donut. Let's take a bite and see how we did. Well, it's a very good cake donut. Cake donuts aren't really my jam. But there's also yeast donuts, you know, I could try, or jelly filled, or, you know, all sorts of different types of donuts out there. And I think what's important is that we remember is not that there's one type of donut to satisfy all of our hunger, but rather that we all share a donut hunger that some feel is satisfied in different ways from others. And we must respect that because we're all just looking for purpose. Also, I think that maybe I prefer croissants. Hey guys, thank you so much for watching. Uh, you know, FYI, as always, everything that's said on this channel is just my opinion as a human life being living on the planet. Uh, but I welcome you guys to share your opinions below. Please leave a comment in the comment section and also subscribe to my channel for new videos every Tuesday and Thursday. You know, Tuesdays are good days. They, we talk about stuff there when I'm like, more cognizant. So, um, I hope that you have a great day. Mwah.